Have you ever set a goal and not achieved it? I know I have. Maybe you've got a goal right now and you're wondering, how can I speed the accomplishment up? If that sounds like you, you and I have something in common. At one time, I too struggled with those thoughts and results, but I learned something powerful that I wanna share with you today. Everyone's heard, you've heard, I've heard the power and the importance of setting goals. And that's true, it is the bread and butter of the personal development movement, but it's not nearly enough. I'm sure you'd agree with that. It's just the beginning, it's the starting line for success. And if you really want success, there's something even more crucial. Most people set goals with the hope that they will strive for inspiration and rise to the quality of their goal. And yet study after study shows that more often than not, we do not rise to the quality of the goal, but way more often we fall to whatever the quality of the habits and processes that we have in place. So let's dive into some fascinating research on that idea from the book, Atomic Habits. Studies have shown that you and I were two to three times more likely to stick to goals if we make specific plans for when, where, and how we'll perform the behaviors that are in alignment with the person that's already achieved the goal is doing. It's not just about affirming and stating our goal. It's about creating what psychologists call implementation intentions. So picture this. You decide to exercise more. You want to get fit, your goal. This is a goal that I had. Instead of just leaving it at that, I want to be more fit. I want to be more healthy. I want to exercise. You specify, I will exercise for at least 20 minutes on Monday at 7 a.m. at the local gym. By doing this, you're not just dreaming or setting a goal. You're actually taking that dream or goal and you're putting it into a plan. You're setting the stage for real tangible action. You're specific, you're choosing a specific action, a specific length of time to be in the action, a specific day, a specific time of day you're gonna do the action and a specific location. When you add those elements, you've got much greater likelihood for success. In the personal development classic, Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Barron, she says this, and then later on, we shall see that this doing will in turn lead to further circumstances in the same direction until we find ourselves step by step to the accomplishment of our object. Key word in that quote, doing. This concept is supported by hundreds of studies whether it's starting to exercise, recycling, studying, or even quitting smoking, having a clear detailed plan significantly increases your chances for success. But let's take this a step further. A study by the Journal of Applied Psychology found that presenting weekly progress reports of your goal increases your success rate by a staggering 40%. Think about it, 40% greater chance of achieving what you want if you present some kind of weekly progress report. And it doesn't stop there. Psychology professor, Dr. Gail Matthews discovered that 76%, check this out, 76% of participants who wrote down their goals and included actions and provided weekly progress to friends, they successfully achieved their goals 33% above people that simply had unwritten goals that they stated. So what does all this mean? It means that the act of setting goals is just the starting line. The real race is one in the planning, the tracking, and the accountability that comes with action. Imagine applying this to your life. Think about something you'd really love to have. What is the person that's already living that experience doing today? How are they thinking? How are they walking? How are they talking? And what actions are they doing already? I wanna be successful in my career? Just saying that's not enough. You specify what success looks like, plan the steps to get there, track your progress, and give yourself a structure of support. Having a mentor or a coach 
to hold you accountable makes it way easier and honestly way more fun. The path to success is not just about the destination. It's about the journey, the adventure. It's about the habits, the plans, and the actions you take every single day. Remember, a goal without a plan is actually just a wish. So let's transform those wishes into the life that you're li living, into your reality. Let's start with some planning, doing, and ultimately succeeding. Thanks for joining me today. I encourage you to take these insights and apply them to your life. Start making those implementation intentions, track your progress, and watch your goals and dreams transform into achievements. Remember, at Brave Thinking Institute, we believe in the power of turning brave thinking into brave actions. You have the power to create the life of you that you dream of, and it starts right now with this new understanding. If you like this message, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and share this with someone that you care about. And if you're ready to dive deeper into these principles and truly transform your life, visit our website and join our Brave Thinking community. Together, we can make the impossible possible. Until we're together again next time, always think bravely and act boldly.